enak kalau gak kak di saya slap come on slap her again because I kept quiet I respected you for one thing maka one thing just maka one thing try it next time I will chop you raw all you do is cause trouble that's all you do in my house anytime you come here you, come, you just come to cause trouble ah I have forgotten your name is Chukwetozona but let me remind you I am still your mother I know you will take sides oh yeah go on go on Celia yeah. Um, you know we have to get on with this whole baby thing, okay? Of course you know the customers, they're on our neck. Alright. Nah, does it mean we are doing the baby this night? Oh yes, of course, we have to. I would want the owners of this baby to receive it first thing tomorrow morning. I'm feeling you, okay? Yeah. Okay, if that is the case, that means we have to hasten up to meet the night boss, which is going to have a job. Oh yes, but please, Priscilla, for safety reasons, not just any night boss. God is good or nothing, okay? It must be God is good. I'm alright now. Oh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, yes. Oh, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, we're about to dispatch the baby tonight, okay? On family tomorrow morning, you receive them. Thank you so much for your patronage. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm um, Priscilla. Okay, there is no time. We have to be at God is good motors. It's already late, okay? Um, okay, you know what will happen? Since I just received this call, just look up the office. I'll do the baby myself, okay? All right, yeah. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm sure this will do for your transport, yeah? Babe, yes, I've heard everything. Please, serve me my food in my room. I'll eat in the room. Oh, but oh, but it. Fat white lie! My dear, you are not eating that food. You know what? I swear to Almighty God, you will not eat that food. You must eat the nugu I prepared. Do you know what Amanda and I went through preparing that food for you? I asked my wife to make a vegetable soup for me and that's what I want to eat and I asked my son to eat the bitter leaf soup I prepared for him is it too much? Uh, why not? I'll be upstairs eh? serve me my food upstairs okay baby my name is Kitchen how about cases gave me cause to worry? why would another man's case they gave me cause to worry? after all whatever that's happening he brought it upon himself how? I don't understand. Because if he had married a younger woman, this would not be happening. He married a woman because of her work and now they're childless. Babes, how can you say such a thing? Huh? Lucia is not that old. No, not like old, old, you know. She's not. Listen, Harold is my very good friend. A friend from way back. I know Harold too well. You know, imagine if Arod had married a woman, let's say, a woman he gave about 10, 15 years gap, this whole thing wouldn't be happening. But you see, Harold went and confiscated, rather that's the word I should use, he went and confiscated an aged woman. And now, they are childless. Well, I think he's lucky to have been married from that family. Besides, he has no idea that Alicia's father is rich. He met, dated, and proposed to her before she opened up to him. Seriously. We are saying the same thing. He got married to her because of her father's wealth. And that's the thing. And now they need a child. There's no child anywhere for them. Babes, are you jealous of him? I am jealous of him. I mean, why would I be jealous of a man who cannot produce a child? Emma Hong cannot reprocreate. I mean, 
mean, look at me. A fatal man like me should be jealous of a man who doesn't have a child. Hell, who does that? I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. Why don't you get married first? So you can focus on your own family and leave another man oh. alone. Oh, oh. Yes. So, you're using Harold's case to shade me over getting married. So you want to remind me that I'm not married or you want to tell me when to get married? Look at you. What are you waiting for? It's been years already. We should be getting married. Oh yes, I know, I know. But when the time comes, I'll definitely get married. Okay. And as for Harold and Lisha, God's time is the best. I Miracle, not the fire Jesus. I was rooting for you. I knew you would say this. <laughs> when it's God's time, they will have their own child. But let me ask you this question. Why? Don't oh, answer me. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just asking you. Why? Oh, my boo Come and see this bag. Hey! You know I love this one. I'm not paying for that bag. At least I don't care whatever you're saying there. I'm not paying. And that's just the reality. I'm not paying for the bag. Please. I told you you're jealous of me. Look at it. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not jealous. No, no, no. You, you can't impose that on me. I'm not jealous. No, look at me, look, look at my face. Are you jealous? No, I'm not paying for the bag, please. After you're walking, you're walking, you should pay for the bag. From the source of her feet to the top of her head, she is the epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart, she never bears no cry. She's ready to love whenever, whenever, wherever it takes. She's ready to have wherever, however. Good evening, how are you? Fine, Auntie. Until this why they come back by this time. Mm -hmm. I hope there's no problem. <laughs> No, there is no problem. I had to do a wee for a customer at God is Good Motors. Auntie, see my brother, God is good. God is good now, my brother now, from my village. God is good is your brother? Yes, now. <laughs> I don't understand. How do you mean? God is good now from Moba, my village, for Anambra State. <laughs> really? So you see, God is good. Nkechi, you know, sister, amaze me. Why are you lying? Eh? God is good is not from Oba. I'm telling you they lie. God is good. Uh, listen, from my listen, Oba. listen to me. God is good is not from Oba. Neither is he from Anambra State. Okay? He is from Isuluka government in Imo State. Get that into your head. Please get me a glass of juice. Let me drink. Okay. She will never, ever, ever disappoint. Make I think can you, can you, can you just leave? Well, just well. leave. It's okay. It's fine. I'm tired, okay? I'm stressed. Just, I said you should drop it and leave. Okay. What is wrong with you? I'm telling you, I love you so much. Oh my God. How did I employ? Girl will not even allow me to have peace of mind. She keeps arguing at every little thing. What kind of a girl is this? Hey! Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Hello, big sis. Good evening. Oh, I just got back from work now. Oh, don't be like that. It has always been on my mind to call you, but each time I try to, I forget. 
And that, by the way, hides the family. Oh, really? I hope there's no problem. Okay. Please just take care of yourself for me, okay? Alright. Good night. I have even decided to leave. To leave? Yes. Come. <laughs> you can't tell me you want to leave your house because of those two. I mean... Sis, I have been going through so much in the hands of those women. The names they call me. All sort of horrible names like Barry Witch, <laughs> Mami Water Possessed. All sort of names. What? So what have your husband been saying about it? What has he been doing? My husband is by my side. I mean, he's very supportive. He tries to talk to them. Yes, he does. But each time he's, he, he talks to them, they, they, they go right back and do even worse. It feels like he's pouring water on stone. They even threaten to throw me out of my home. <laughs> throw you out of your own house? <laughs> A house you built with your own money? Your own sweat? They want to throw you out? Are they mad? No, don't even tell me those two are in this house. In this house. They came yesterday with their trouble. As we speak. Mm -hmm. Sis, I keep telling you, you are too, you're too calm. You're too soft. And I don't like it. Those two people are threatening you in your own house. And here you are seated. They are in this house. Yeah, they are in this house. We are here again. No, 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 no. You can't stand there. Come, come, come and show me. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's her mother? My mother. She's not in. You, you wanna do it. Hmm? Now go inside that room. Pick everything that belongs to you and mama and leave this house before I get you out of state. Immediately! <laughs> I'm 
meet me. You must come back to the village and meet me. Okay? Eh? You told me you built a house in that Saba. You told me you built a house here in Asaba. I didn't know it was the very woman that built your house for you. Woo! Amanda! Amanda! Mama! This house I said about poor. Ah, what are you packing? Ah! What nonsense! I'm up here. Ma, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kaidanu! What do you mean, Kaidanu? This is me, Oh, I should go before you. Is that what you're saying? Mama, your sister here, Sham. Let's go! Nonsense! Let's leave! Let's go. I told you! I told you that your brother is a woman rapper. Didn't I say that? Didn't I mention that to you? I told you he's a woman rapper. Your brother were rapping one or were rapping. Enveloped him! See you, Nankada. Baba, let's go. Woohoo! I am leaving your house. Now let's go. Woohoo! 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 This house. Which breakfast? My friend, when we get to the village, we eat the breakfast. Not some breakfast. Mama, 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 mama. Brother has fallen in my hands. Hey! Mama, brother has fallen in my hands. Hey? So he's not even the owner of this firehouse, those cars. And he said, he's just seated on. Borrowed wealth, doing nothing. Hey! Be there and speak grammar. Just stay there and be speaking grammar. I am going back to my husband's house. Yes. At least he still has a house. I am proud of him. Unlike your brother. That woman is nice. Yes. Which woman? Auntie Luciana. Even if after all this wealth she has, she still respects brother. Hey, Mama. I wish. I wish God Almighty. We just give her a child. I pray for her. But my, you, 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 you're very wicked. Though. I'm doing this just because of you. you Mommy, I'm doing this because of you. Because I'm doing this because of you. Just to please you. I'm, I'm wicked in this woman. It's not, it's not fair. After making sure that I did not rot in jail or go to jail, now you're making me do. Follow you and do what she's doing. What you're doing to her is not good. Listen to me. I don't have time for this nonsense. When we get to the house, eh? You explain everything that I needed to know. But for now, I am looking for my way to the village. Not yet, I'm a sort of summons. That's where her health. I'm not kissing her to get me, but open the gate. Nice. No, stay. Yes. I'll be present another Mama, woman. You. She's very rich. Mama, she's she's very rich. You. My friend, Mama, let's let this you. It is because of you I'm doing this thing. I am following you just to make you happy, so no, stay. Mama, I am following you. Mama. I am doing it because of you. Yeah. No problem. Don't follow me. We are going together. Good radiance to bad rubbish. Ah, let him go, sis. Relax. Thank God. Now I can finally have some peace in my home. Sis, you're too cool-headed. And I don't like it. Look at what you've been going through in your own house and you've been enjoying it. I can't take such nonsense from anybody. Calm down. Mm? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> But please, do not go about disturbing yourself, okay? God will give you children at his own time. But I insist, you have to do something about that, your mother-in-law. How? That woman is not a nice woman. <laughs> at some point, I'm beginning to think she has a hand in the case of you and your husband's childlessness. No, don't, don't say that, Vera. Look, I know my mother-in-law has her fault, but doing this, mm -mm, she doesn't know anything. Look, she's just doing what every other mother would do. What is best for their child? But don't you think she's overdoing it? It is too much. At this point, I'm beginning to think she's intentionally wanting to frustrate you out of your marriage. Mm -mm. I met my husband and fell in love with him. Because he is a good man. That was the main reason I accepted his proposal. You know what I don't get? It's the fact that I haven't been able to miss my period, let alone have a miscarriage. I don't understand it. Sissy, I know and I understand this to the point that I know that you have run series of fertility tests just to make sure that you are medically fit. And thank God that it has been proven that you and your husband are medically fit to have children. Okay? Just calm down. God will give you children at his own time. 
but I insist somebody is doing this to you. You know, she may not be far from the truth, but the question is, who did I offend? You know, the other day, a madman said something to me. I knew it. I said it. He was specific. He said, beware of friends. Friends? Yes. You and I know I have just one friend. Regina. She's more of like a sister. I mean, she's too close to us. Thinking of her in such a way is, is out of place. No, 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 sis. I can vouch for her. Gina can never do such a thing. Well, you know, mad men, you know how they talk. Maybe he isn't even sure what he's Sis, he called you a name. Exactly my point. Okay, fine. Do you know what you do for me? Do not tell anybody anything that has to do with your family anymore. From today, anything that has to do with your family, do not disclose it to anybody. Even if they ask you, don't. Your family secret is what you should keep safe. Okay? Okay. Um, by that way, nobody will use what you say to them against you. Alright? Fine. And do not forget to tell your husband to, to be one of his friends. Don't worry, sis. Everything is fine. Relax. Everything will be just fine. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Babe. Yeah, baby. What is happening to us? I don't understand. Babe, can you please drop your phone? This is very important to me. Just give me a second, okay? Fine. I'm waiting. Okay. Yeah, so. What is it? It's high time we got married. I'm tired of playing this hide and seek game. I'm tired of it, please. I'm not ready. Yeah, I'm not ready. For five good years, we have been together. Five solid years. And you sit here telling me that you are not ready to marry me. I don't get it. I do not understand it. Um, Jennifer, I don't know why you're bringing up this talk. I am the man here. I mean, I should be the one with the talking, the proposal, the engagement, and what have you. This is marriage for crying out loud. I should be the one doing the whole talking. Then do the needful. Yes. I am not ready. It, 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 it worries me as well. I'm not ready. When will you be ready? I want to know. When exactly will you be ready? Uh, okay, star. When I'm going to be ready, when I'm going to be ready, when I'm going to be ready. It's, it, 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 it's a problem. It, it, it has to do with the government. And it, the government has a significant role to play in this marital case. You see, the, the, the economy of this country is so bad. And it, it takes like four years for a government to come and go. And things have to start working. It, it is really affecting the younger generation. The bad economy of this country is affecting so many younger people who ought to be getting married. I don't know what the government is doing to improve the situation in this country. I'm telling you, for things to begin to work, it has to take like uh, maybe uh, a year, no, like up to four years, sometimes five years. But, but let's see and hope if this immediate government could do something better, you know. It's, it's, Sad. It's burning me. It's, it's it's burning my soul. Bad situation. Kesta. What nonsense are you vomiting from your mouth? What are you saying? What does government have to do with what I'm discussing with you? Settling down, getting married. What? Are you saying, you know, I have been the one holding this relationship together. If you know that you do not love me anymore, why not tell me? Tell me so I can gladly walk away so you can stop wasting my time for I am sick 
I'm tired of waiting for you. My mates are all getting married out there. And you are telling me government. What rubbish government? You see, you see, you see, you see. It's clear to me that you, you don't even understand what is happening. As a professional economist, like a well-trained economist, I understand the impact of the government on marital issues. It's okay, I understand you don't understand how these things work, but it's just a reality. But, but come to think of that, I mean, this is marital discussion. I mean, why should you be the one to initiate it? I am the man here who should be talking about the whole thing. Does it matter? Does it matter who proposes? Hmm? Tell me! If you cannot do it as a man that you are, then let me do it! If you're not man enough. Oh, please. There's no way you can do it. I mean, I mean I'm a man and a woman can never propose to me. Hell no. Then do something! Do something! I'm tired! Can't you see? I'm not getting any younger. I'm not. Do something. <sighs> okay. Well, it's now obvious to me that you're prepared to make issues and I'm not going for that. Um, Please, can you make me something for breakfast? Because I need to hit the office anytime soon. All right? Thank you. Okay, I'll come to the mechanic myself. All right, no problem. I'll just take a drop, okay? Yes. All right. The guy is not yet back. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, I'll just pick it up myself on my okay. way. All right. Uh, Mother, this is Lisa. I hope you come back very soon. Don't worry, I won't take time, okay? Uh, okay. I'll be no right back. All right. Bye. Can I get to meet you? Uh, yes. Okay, yeah. Um, um, that's, um, um, what's her name again? Um, Sorry, how may I help you? Yeah, uh, you don't know me, but I was actually supposed to meet with her. I have an appointment to catch up with her. Oh. Well, remind me her name again, please. That is um, Lady Vera. Lady Vera, that's, that's her. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. You know her? Yes, I was supposed to catch up with her later today. Oh, really? No, but it, it's okay. Uh, maybe I'll have to reschedule. Oh, fine. That would be better. Okay. Uh, uh, this, is this, is, this is supposed yes, to be her this, office, uh, right? Yes, this is her office. Okay, I see. So, how is work? You see, we are trying our best. Anyhow. <laughs> it's okay. You're a great guy. Let yes. me see if I can um, give oh. you something to probably go to um, a good spot to get something. To yeah. cool off. Okay, just take this. Give this. Yes. All right. Okay, away. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. a nice person. Thank you. You don't have to tell her that I came. I'll have to share it with her. Oh, really? No problem. All no right. Problem. Thank yeah. you. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Vera, Vera, what a sweet name for a sweet lady. Something that befits Mr. Kester, King of Bachelors. What? She's beautiful. My, you oh my. At least this is going to make a difference. You know, so that Carol to stop doing this nonsense he's doing, building plazas, building mansions, and driving big, big cars. At least now I have a big lady that's going to fund my lifestyle. Oh, but this is cash out. <laughs> this lady is for me. 
I am not contesting this with any other person. This one is for the caves. I'm a keep you Vera. Kesta, king of the boys. Kesta, king of Bachelor. Kesta, king of Bachelor. Too much for the maids. Too much for the maids. That pretend to be your friends. unusual. I haven't heard Mama's voice all day. Well, that is because Mama is not in the house as we speak. What happened? Where has she gone to? You see, your mother and your sister, they left. Better, better. Don't you feel bad that you didn't even say goodbye at least? Goodbye to what? Goodbye to those people. Look, I am very happy that they left. Do you know what they've done for us? With all that madness that we're showing in this house, exhibiting in this house, you want them to remain? It is good that they left. Eh? Let them go with that. Imagine Mama bringing Amanda to insult my own wife. I know. No. Baby. She is still your mother. Yes, I know she's my mother, but how am I supposed to feel? A woman who almost charmed me. She collected something from one who knows the native daughter that she even collected that thing from. And, 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 and you are saying she's my mother. Yes, she's my mother, but in fact, let me not even talk. Yeah, I know. It's what she did is terrible. But she's still family. Yeah, she's still family. But let her remain in her husband's house. And you stay in your husband's house. <laughs> Babe, do you remember that pot I bought? The new one? Yeah, 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 the, the stick on... Yeah, yeah, that one. That one, yeah. Can you believe that your mother and your sister used it to cook on firewood? You don't say. Oh, my God. Who are you My... What's the smell? What have I done to you? What have I done? What is this now? Eh? Why would she use the pots on firewood? Is there a way of this? Could this be the concussion she made for my husband in the name of Onubu soup? That flies. What is this? Eh? Am I the first person to be childless? Is it my fault? My husband, oh my god, no problem. 
as long as God is alive, I know I will give birth to children for my husband. From the shores of her feet up to the top of her head She is the epitome of beauty and grace With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart She never bears no grudge She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes she's ready to help where <laughs> my love you did the right thing you see why i speak so highly of you Habib should have been here the whole house was thinking I had to disinfect the kitchen after I threw away the pot of bitter leaves soup she made for you. Oh my God, I can imagine. Could it have been the caution that she collected from that native doctor? What else? Do you know your mother? She's, she's desperate and can do the unthinkable. Hey. Oh, this woman. My mother is so obnoxious. So obnoxious. That woman just wants me dead. Mm-mm, mm-mm, babe. I don't think she wants you dead. I mean, you are her child. I think maybe if she had succeeded in making you eat the food, it would have charmed you and made you see reasons to stop loving me and possibly leave our marriage. God forbid. Amen. Well, thank God she did not succeed. Because no sane man on planet Earth would abandon you. You? Babe, you are an asset. You are the best decision I ever made. And I will not leave you for any other woman. Baby, you have a way of making me feel oh, my head is swelling. Is my head, is my head bigger? <laughs> Check it. If it was to swell, I would say. I'll do something. So you have look. But seriously, I am not flattering you at all. I will marry you a million times over. You are the best thing that happened to me. I made the best decision of marrying you. And I will remain with you no matter what happens. I will love you till the end of time with or without children. With children, baby. I'll give you children, beautiful children, male and female, except there is no God in heaven. I know I will. You're a good man and I love you so, so much. Can you do 
just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Uh -uh. Remove your hand from under. Shift it well, please. Mm -hmm. so why are you doing this? I'm just humming. Oh, no, just, no, just, no, just, <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. Don't, no, don't start with me. You can't calm yourself. Leave me alone. I want to ask you something. Let me, let me ask you. Eh? I want us to define this relationship. Yes. Honestly, I don't know what you are driving at. Okay. What is the essence of this whole thing? Where are we heading to with it? I don't understand. What, what are you driving at? It's been you having your way with me all the time. You see me as a cestool and nothing else. Yes. All you want with me is says, says, says. You are honey left, right, and center. I am tired of it. I'm tired. Are you not my girlfriend? Oh. Are you not my girlfriend? I should so agbada with it. I should just use that so very big agbada and wait and go everywhere I'm going. As your girlfriend, all my mates are getting married. What are you telling me? Um, you should be ashamed of yourself. Are you not my girlfriend? Babe, I, I know what you're up to. Come on, trust me. I know exactly what you're up to. You're just trying to fizzle words into my mouth. I mean, you want to know what I have to say. Well, it's okay. Uh, but stop it. I don't like it. Don't try forcing me and trying to put words into my mouth. It's not nice. Mm. Oh, yeah, you heard me. <laughs> stop it. You know what? I know you see me as nothing. You do not see me in your future. No, you don't. You don't. Say the truth. I have given you all the time. I've been patient with you. I've waited. But no. All I keep getting is sex, sex, sex all the time. At this point, I think I should draw the line. I'm calling it wait with you. Babe? Did you just say you're, you're quitting? You are leaving this relationship? Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. Why don't you just come out straight and tell me that there's someone somewhere, probably a sugar daddy or something, maybe some kind of guy somewhere who's trying to convince you to leave your God-blessed relationship? Oh. You can say whatever do you want. Sugar daddy, sugar boy, sugar picking. It doesn't matter to me. I know that you do not want me in your life anymore. First thing tomorrow morning, I will be out of your life for good. Very early in the morning. Early, pie pie. I don't move. And you will never see me again. Nonsense. Um, you know, when people are stressed out, they say a lot of unusual things, you know, things that they ought not to be saying. And I, if I could remember, you had a very stressful day from work yesterday, so um, you're indirectly trying to let me know that you need to rest. So just sleep. Maybe in the morning you'll be fine, okay? Get back to sleep. Just just go and sleep. I know you'll be fine, okay? Sleep. Right? You are not a serious woman being at home. You are not. Nonsense. Um, let me just go to the bathroom and probably help myself out, okay? Oh, how concerns you. Test husband. No stats. No stats. Teasing. Teasing you care. You know I won't tease you. You have always been sweet. Never stop being sweet. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. What? 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 <laughs>
Bey. 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 Time. I need to put myself together. See, you know, there, there are so many things. You will that never I put yourself together, Esther. You will never organize yourself in this life. You will never put yourself together. I want to get out of your life. Half of everything that has to do with you, Esther, I am dumb. You are like a plague. I don't want you. Any you, 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 you can do this, baby. You, 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 you dare not. You can do this. Listen, I've been through a lot with you. You live in my life. I'm, I'm going to be like. The most loneliest man in the world. Please don't do this to me. I beg of you, please. Are you serious? Me, please. Oh, my darling. I need you to listen to me, okay? I said I am done. D O N E. In capital letter. I'm done. You can do this. We have been through a lot in this life. So many rivers will have passed through. Listen, babe, okay. Okay, just give me. Okay, the, the time I'm asking for women that much. Just give me a little time, baby, please. You don't do this, I beg you, baby, please. You can't leave my life like this. I'm going to be so lonely. I'm going to be empty without you. See, you're, you're my pride. And I've, I've, I've not said this before, and I'm saying it for the first time. You're my pride. You can't leave me like this. Please. Oh, so sorry about that. Can you get out of my way? Please. Get out of my way. Okay, please, don't, don't touch do this. me with that filthy hands of yours. Don't try it. My life is empty without you. Where, where am I going to start from? My life is empty without you, baby. You can't do this to us. God will bring them on back! in this world. Surely punish you. Hello, Princey. How are you? Um, I don't mean any harm, okay? I just want to help. And your luggage looks heavy. Can I at least drop you off? I don't need your help. I don't. I mean, you don't have to be so rigid. I just want to help. Please. Can you just leave me the hell alone? You men are all the same. So please, peace off. Stay off, please. Well, I understand that some guys are devil in disguise, but I mean, you can still give life a chance. Yes. I insist, let me help. Come on. Let fine, me fine, you won. Okay, so, is that a yes? A yes, right? <laughs> Alright. Let me take this in for you. What has she done? 
scheduled for 10 a.m. with our foreign investors? Oh, yes, you did say so. <laughs> and it's going to last for two hours. Okay. We will do lunch after the meeting. Mm. Mm, I'll call you. Don't say no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love you. And I love you more. <laughs> or, okay, babe. Okay, you, you, are, you are running late. Let's go home, breakfast. Come on. We're only 22. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> Olivia, what has suddenly come over you? Are you... Do you realize what you're doing? What if someone barges in on us? Don't you think that's going to be a shame? Look, all I'm saying is I want to make you feel happy, fella. I am young and I have all it takes to make you children. 